it was fundamental. It was it was deep. You know. It uh, on one level, you know, it recaptured and revitalized the American sense of mission. You know, the American evangelical sense that this is in some sense or other a new chosen people and that it is, its destiny is to save the world, to make a new kind of humanity. And in that way, it was deeply conservative. It went back to the very roots of what America originally had been about. And it you know, meant it in the sense that it was not I know, sort of just sort of a, a, a kind of new bureaucratic nonsense. But it said, do it right here and now. That was one of the big phrases. And people should take that you know, seriously. It was a matter of, in a serious, personal, private, intimate way, translating what you were talking about into actions. And I thought that was wonderful. That, you know, it, 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 there was a great, great hostility towards hypocrisy, towards mere empty gestures. And the feeling was, Don't, let's not have any of that. And, and that was also carried forward in the way meetings were run. People were very impatient with empty rhetoric. They, you know, it's, it had to count. It had to be serious. It had to be personal. Uh, the 60s managed to get rid, to, to turn away from the asceticism, the self-denial, the puritanism that had still been a very thick thing, a very powerful thing in America. And they made it a much more sensuous, a much more cheerful, a much more life-affirming culture than it had you know, any hope of being before.